Michael B. Jordan keeps on teasing and changing his stance on a possible return to Marvel Studios' world of Black Panther. Now let's hear what he's talking about now and what he's saying, because the tone has changed from, eh, I don't know, maybe to, well, if they have a good idea, sure. In a recent interview with ET Online, Michael B. Jordan was asked once again about the news on Black Panther Wakanda Forever, his thoughts on it, and again, him returning. Now, this is something that's been rumored ever since the ending of the first film, because we never see the character truly get killed off or die. We're left to believe that he might have been, but we don't know. So there's a lot of mystery there, and you could always do a small retcon. There's multiverse possibilities and various other things you can do in the world. So anything is possible. Well, he did give an interesting quote, and I'll read it word for word. And what he said is, and I quote, There's always a love I have for those characters, and Eric is definitely one of those that means a lot to me. So only if it's the right thing, and it's impactful, and if I could add something to it. If it means something, then yeah, I want to be a part of that journey, you know? End quote. So hypothetically, let's say they do find a good way to honor what came in the first film and how to write off the character of T'Challa and it's a meaningful way and maybe there's something that Eric uh, learned, you know, um, in his time maybe healing or whatever happens with the character or how much ever, you know, time has passed. If it's something meaningful that he feels that he can deliver something more personal to it and continue the story of Eric, maybe even a complete redemption arc, I mean, that's there. That could work. And before people bring up his actions that were villainous and say there's no redemption, I would like to argue that other villains slash anti-heroes in the MCU have had small redemptions and new story arcs that completely changed them as a whole. So I don't think that argument holds any weight, but it's got to be something, like he said, that makes sense, that works, that expands the character. If it's just, oh, come back and do the same thing, what's the point? Right? Like, what's the point of Killmonger's just brought back and they're like, okay, what are you going to do? Um, try to take over Wakanda again. Look, this ain't the Flash. We're not going to repeat the same storyline after season three through season seven, okay? Like, that's not going to happen. We're not just going to do the whole mystery thing and swap out X, Y, Z, and there you go. Like, it's got to be more impactful than just a, uh, we're doing it because we can, because. And I believe that if they can come up with a great concept... To bring him back, he'll come back. He's never expressed any interest of just being done with the character. He's always said, well, I love that character, so you never know what the future holds. And now he's leaning more into it as well. 